Y'all have to understand we live in such a different time than 10, 20, definitely 30 years ago, definitely 40, 50, you know, years ago. Like, for all of the sexuality, oppression of queer people that we see today, it... Society is so much more, in general, accepting, open, um, equitable. Um, It doesn't feel that way, for sure. But holy fuck, it is. Now, you got to understand, if you you look at, um, I'll just say queer rights, you know, um, you have to understand, until the early 70s, it was thought that homosexuality... That being gay was a mental disorder. That it was literally something you're born with that was a, a disorder that could be cured. Typically, it could be cured through religion and prayer and electroshock therapy. Um, you know, and institutions convinced people that they needed to be cured of it. Now, this was a prevalent thought. That, um, you know, being gay was thought to be, you know, it was illegal. Fuck, it was illegal um, in so many many states and prosecuted. um, You know, thought as as deviant, you know, um, unaccepted in so many ways. Um, You know, and uh, things have come a long fucking way. Um, And thank God, you know... And still, so much work, to, so much work to be done. But um, you know, I mean, like the idea that there's like queer studies classes at a college campus, like that shit didn't exist 20 years ago when I when I was in school. You, you know what I'm saying? And it should. It's so fucking important to like develop an understanding and 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 learn about these things. Um, it's just so vital, you know. Uh, even even like. The fact that there's like ethnic studies classes and departments and stuff like that did not exist 20, just, just 20 years ago. And that stuff's so vital and so needed. Anyways, um, we've come a long way in the United States, same sex, you know, there is marriage equality finally. Right. And it happened in a 2015, um, Supreme court case, uh, Oberfell versus Hodges, okay, and this this basically, you know, Supreme Court court ruled that marriage equality should happen in the United States. It was a major, it was a major, 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 major deal because at the time, very, you know, very few countries had um, had passed this type of law. It was still not allowed in so many countries. Now, the sort of jumping point for this was actually a ruling that came 10 years old uh, before, which was Lawrence versus Texas. It was basically um, where two uh, gay men were um, cited for, um, for violating Texas's anti-sodomy laws. Um, you have to understand that this, these sodomy laws, which existed in Texas and I believe like 12 other states at the time, um, basically made uh, anal sex illegal. Now, who did they persecute for this? Mostly gay men. Like, these laws were used, you know, uh, they were very, very discriminatory. They weren't, like, busting up married, you know, heterosexual couples or couples for having anal sex. They were, they were, uh, primarily targeting um, gay men who had, you know, public, and I'm not saying out in public, but like maybe in a park or, you know, or whatever, or in any instance, even the privacy of their own home could could be arrested for that. So Lawrence v. Texas uh, overturned Texas's um, anti-sodomy law and therefore basically said that any state's who had anti-sodomy laws were in violation of the federal constitution. They have to be waived. Okay, um, but currently um, um, there's marriage equality in 29 countries. Uh, in 2019, 
jumping onto the list was um, Ecuador, Austria, and Taiwan. Um, but I mean, why is it not legal in other countries? I mean, you look most of Africa, you know, um, no, most of Asia, no, you know, um, it's just incredibly, incredibly different around the world, you know. It's totally illegal in, in so many, so many countries, punishable um, by law. But, you know, people have been fighting for LGBTQIA rights for decades, you know, primarily started at least in the United States with, um, you know, uh, gay men in New York City who were advocating for rights, you know, um, but I mean, it's, you know, we're at the point where it's like workplace discrimination has been a major a major, a major, major factor, and this has been something that has been constantly brought up in, in why there needs to be equity, is that there's great discrimination in, in um, who's hired based upon sexual orientation, um, how much they're paid, firing, etc., etc. et, cetera, et cetera. Um, Lots of religions view it as unholy. Um, And, you know, I mean, look at extremist Christian groups, the God hates people, you know, um, you know, but a lot of uh, religious discrimination, you know, uh, people who are queer, not allowed to become priests or not allowed positions within the religion. They may hold those views, the religious views and part of adherence devout adherence, but um, their gender and sexual orientations um, are discriminated against. One of the other major issues is adoption by same-sex couples. I mean, these have all kind of led up to marriage equality, right? Um, And then obviously we have lots and lots of hate crimes and continued violence against queer people, specifically trans people of color Um, but lots of bias and these are all punishable so bias specifically is a federal federal crime federal hate crime but here's a little map that again it kind of shows you where marriage equality exists uh, around the world it's a few years dated but um, gives you a sense you can look at the map you know south and latin america Europe, okay, you know, Australia, but Africa and Asia has got a lot of catching up to do, just saying, y'all.